Do you want to know how to install a DLL file as a VST into FL Studio? It's easier than you think, and I'm about to show you how. All right, so let's hop right into it. Um, I know it's frustrating when you get a VST and all you have is this file and you don't know where to put it, so I thought I'd create this quick tutorial to show you how to do it. You're not actually installing anything. You're just dragging a file into a folder and then scanning your folders so that you have your new VST in your um, in your lineup in an FL Studio. So let's go and get right into it. Um, I'm just gonna bring up, and I'll share this link in the uh, description of the video as well. Um, here's one, uh, a particular one of analog EQ uh, emulator here from Analog Obsession called Fiverr and if you scroll down here here are your download links now you could just download it from Windows and it'll give you an exe file which means it's executable and you could just click it and and download it that way but sometimes you don't have that option so I'm gonna choose Windows zip and this tutorial is specific to Windows so if you do have a Mac you may want to try a different tutorial but uh, for Windows as you can see we've downloaded it here and I'm gonna bring up my downloaded my download folder real quick okay here it is so all you need to do is extract it and there we go we have a DLL file and we also have a VST3 file and I, I'll show you where you can put each of those so before we get into that let's just talk a little bit about where your plugins live in FL Studio and how you configure that out so um, if you go to your mixer and you're adding a new plugin. Um, these, you know, obviously are the stock fruity plugins, but you can click more plugins. And down here, there's a little button called Manage Plugins, and that brings up uh, this interface right here. And you can drag this over, and you can actually see the file path of every single uh, folder that FL Studio scans, so you know where it's finding your plugins. If you wanted to add a new folder to this, you can. Um, you would just click here, browse for folder, and you could add it that way. Um, I just personally like to leave them the way they are and just add my plugins all into the same folder. So for the VST3, for example, we would want to put this in Common Files VST3. And then for... Uh, the DLL file, I'm going to put it just in VST plugins. So program files, VST plugins. And if you're wondering what this x86 is, that's your 32-bit operating system. Uh, most computers have that as an option in case they want to run programs that are on a 32-bit operating system. Most, uh, most laptops and computers now are 64-bit, but it gives you that flexibility if you had some older uh, computer programs you wanted to run. <coughs> I pretty much only install it on the 64-bit, but um, you're more than welcome to do that if you'd like. So let's find these folders. So I'm going to bring up, uh, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to bring this back up, and I'm going to open a new folder. There we go. Or a new uh, file explorer window. And you're going to want to go to your core um, hard drive, the one that your operating system lives in, the one your computer came with, unless you built your own. Um, and you have program files, that's for the 64-bit operating system, and the x86. I'm just going to install it on the 64-bit. So we're going into program files. Uh, we want to look for a folder called VST plugins, all one word. Uh, this is it right here, VST plugins. And it's this simple. You take your DLL file. You'll notice that all the other files are DLL files. If you have an instruments folder, this is where it would go um, if you're downloading a VST instrument. And all you have is an instruments folder and a DLL. Same thing. You would still just drag it into this folder. So let's do that. It'll ask you for um, administrator privileges to do it. Oh, actually it didn't. It just let me drag it right over. It knows I'm the administrator. That's great. Um, so we've added that. 
<coughs> and now let's look for the VST3. If you remember from before, it was in a common folder, common files, which I believe is here. I'll have to look at the path exactly. Let me go back to here, manage plugins. So VST3, program files, common files, VST3. That's where you could add that one. So let's take a look. Bring my folder back up. So back to here. Program files. Common files right here. VST3. And if we bring the other downloads, this is a nice home for our VST3 plugin. There we go. And you can see all the other files are VST3 as well. So that's it. Now all we have to do, you don't have to close FL Studio and turn it, you know, turn it back, you know, relaunch it or anything like that to see your new plugins. All you have to do is go here to file, go to, um, actually not file, sorry. You go to this little carrot right here in the left corner. So it's under file, just right there. You can see that and bring up this menu. And if you go all the way to the bottom, there's the refresh plugin list fast scan. So I'm going to click that real quick. And you can see it's scanning all the VST plugins. It's scanning all of those folders that we were looking at earlier to see if any new plugins exist. It takes a little minute. You can sing yourself a little song while it does it. Go get it, get up, get something to drink. <coughs> Whatever makes you happy. Um, obviously, the faster your computer is, the faster it does this. And it looks like it's just wrapping it up. So now let's go try to add a new plugin. So I'm going to go back to more plugins. And normally it highlights the new ones in orange. So here they are Fiber X84 VST. So that's that new bit crusher that we just added. Um, and then here's Fiverr again, the VST3 file that we just added. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to post them here uh, under the video. I'll get back to them if I have time. Uh, but I feel like it's pretty simple. So I hope this video has been informative to you. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. I would love that. Um, and subscribe for more free tutorials if you're interested. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.